Hello, this is Mr. EVT. And I am Zombiehat. And this is our review of the Lucifer Wings of Fallen 1-6 scale set. I'm not sure what exactly to call this. But yeah, it's the Wings of Fallen. I thought it was Wings of the Fallen. <laughs> and it says six high simulation toys. Only reason I ordered this it's not based on anything that I don't know what this is from. I don't know if it's from anything. I just seen it and thought that is badass and I want it. It's so awesome looking. And I pre ordered it a long time ago and it finally came out. And there's two versions. I think this is the deluxe version. I'm not sure what this has that the regular version doesn't. But yeah, this is one of the ones that seemed like it was delayed a lot and it finally came out. But, uh,. Yeah, there's not a whole lot going on, on the outside of the box. Just it's all there's white. There's a feather. Yeah, feather in there. <laughs> Nothing on top. But then a the slip cover comes off. And there's a whole bunch of words that I can't read. Yeah, I can't read any of that. I can <laughs> walk and read rings of wings of fallen, Lucifer, Lucifer. But that's all I can read. And I don't think there's still nothing. I'll lean this back. I'm not sure if stuff will fall. And this comes out of there. Whoa. And there's a sheet so you can kind of see what we're looking at finally. Um, it doesn't come with a body though. It comes with everything else, just not the body. But we've got a body, so hopefully it will work. Hopefully It'll everything come. fits. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I believe they got this on a Fison, and that's what we got. A Fison Red Sonia Scars of the She-Devil body. Hopefully it fits. Because this body doesn't look like it's as muscular as the so Red Sonia. So hopefully it fits. But on the back of this, they show a bunch of stuff that you could do. It's basically just the directions. And there's the top layer. Look at all this stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. The head's kind of out of position because I had it out looking at it. But you got horns and a whole bunch of hands. And there's all the armor. Other various things. What is this? I don't even know what that is. A necklace or some kind of necklace or something. And then pull that out. There you can see the big wings. And they use real feathers. And there's like this really cool sword thing. <laughs> you stick the sword into this into this base here. It's pretty cool. But Gotta get this all out, cause cause we're gonna put together. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got all the pieces out, and there is a lot of stuff. Uh, one thing that's kind of an issue is some of the feathers are coming off. Just have to glue them back on, I guess. But there is a spot that's missing some feathers, so I'll just fill that in with those. But you can see it comes with a lot of armor. And extra hands and some things we're not even sure what they are yet. <laughs> I have to start looking at those directions we got and figure out where everything goes. <laughs> and there's that little base thing with the sword in it and the wings. The wings spread out a lot more than that. They're just kind of not completely unfolded yet. Okay, so we got all of her armor on. The zombie cat did most of it. We actually are filming this on a separate day than the first part of this video was because it took so long to get the armor on that after we're done we're like let's just finish this another day <laughs> forever <laughs> yeah it takes a while no we like this is the red Sonia body and she's muscular so the body they show in the preview pictures doesn't look as muscular so it might be easier to get the parts on but with this body we really had to work with it and get the pieces on all the way Especially the calf pieces. Yeah, well that's... Yeah, yeah, those were tough to get on. Because the, the feet are separate from this, and you have to really work these up to get onto the legs. And then the little wristbands were tough, tough to get on. Zombie Cat got on one, and I got on the other. But, eventually we got them on. It's kind of funny, one of the main reasons I got that Red Sonia body. Well, I guess the main reason was because it was cheap, but also I thought it was cool it had all the scars, but you really can only see like 
a couple. Yeah. <laughs> My sword covered up. Well, that's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, another difficult part was getting the horns into the head. But you gotta... Like, I was trying to shove them in the wrong angle. You gotta shove them in at the right angle. And at first I thought I liked the horns down, but actually I like them up better. Yeah, I definitely agree. They look better sticking up. Just the, the preview pictures, for some reason, they look better down, but in person I think I like... I definitely like them better up. But one thing is, it says in the directions to heat up the feet if you can't get them onto the pegs. Or the... Like the metal ball of the fison. And we had to do that. It, they just would not go on. It says not to force them because it could break. And they wouldn't go on. So I heated them up a lot with the hair dryer. And then they went on. But you got to make sure these cat pieces are up far enough or it ain't going to work right. Oh, one other thing is uh, there's a string that wraps around. It comes from the, the sides of the bra piece. Crosses on her back and then it hooks to the underwear there. No, it's probably gonna be. It's kind of. It's kind of hard to see because it's underneath that piece of armor. Yeah, it was a little bit too long. It was a lot a bit too long. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I actually ended up. You can kind of see I pulled the excess down and it's just sitting there. It needs tied tighter. So. But it looks good for now. We got it on there. Yeah, that's fine with me. She comes with this extra string, and we're kind of guessing. We don't know what else it's for, so we're just. A, it's the same string as this, so it must just be extra. In okay, case something breaks. Well, that's the only thing we can think. Didn't put this on, this little boa or whatever. I'm not really sure how it goes on. For the pictures, it looks like it's wrapped around here. But with our hair and that armor and our wings, I don't know how. There's already enough going on there. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too really worried about this. And I think it would cover up the detail of the armor and. And it doesn't really look that great. Yeah, I'm not... It's for something else. <laughs> it looks kind of cheap compared to everything else. If you take the wings off, they're magnetic. There's also a couple little pegs that attach it to the back. And the magnet helps hold it on. But if you take the wings off, you can stick this in there in place of it. So there's not just a big shiny magnet showing. Why would you take those wings off though? They're the best part. I don't know. <laughs> this we didn't put on yet. I don't know what the point of this is. It's like a... They go on each wrist. Just a chain connecting them. And... I don't know. It just seems like it's something for her to trip over. <laughs> on the pictures, it looked like it just showed it hanging. Yeah. I don't know why you would do that. You Maybe could, she jumps rope with them. Maybe. It seems like it'd be an issue. Like, I mean, <laughs> your wings get caught in it when you're trying to fly. It, I don't know. Well, here's a closer look at this thing that holds her sword. I don't even know what this is exactly. I mean it's like a big rock with a dragon sculpted on it and she just keeps her sword there or maybe that's where she pulls it. I don't know. But it's got like a little lion head there. Which I don't know what that <laughs> has to do. Yeah, what does a lion have to do with anything? <laughs> it's got a lion and a dragon. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But it looks cool. I like to sculpt of the rock. I like to sculpt of the dragon head. But the best part well, here's the um, sword, which is, it. it's plastic, and it, and it looks plastic, it doesn't look metal, but that's okay. But it almost looks like a bug or something design. And I did notice that the, the paint right down here isn't very great on both sides, it kind of like gets messy at the end of that point. Oh, I don't even notice that. But you stick that down into here. And then it turns on the light up feature, which is really cool looking. And yeah, have, I like that a lot. I have to turn off the lights so you can see, because that just looks so cool. Because without that sword in there, it doesn't look like anything would shine through that. Yep. That looks so cool. Mm -hmm. and it's even brighter. The lights off. That looks really cool. Yeah. It lights up the whole rock. And it's very red. I'm not sure. On camera, looking at this viewfinder on a camera, it looks pink. But in person, it's like blood red. It looks like lava or something. It looks really good. Magma. Mm hmm. I didn't notice the lion face even lights up. Yeah. That's so cool. And that's just like an extra thing. I really wanted this for the wings and the armor. It just looks so cool. But this is like an extra really awesome thing this comes with. 
I didn't even remember that she came with that. It's like you showed me pictures a long time ago, and I don't, I didn't really pay attention to that. Yeah, that was just. And then we got her, and I'm like, ooh. <laughs> That's cool. And batteries go in down here. It takes two, I think, two double A's. Yes. Doesn't come with any batteries. You gotta provide your own. Now let's go over this figure. I guess we'll go over the wings first. So when we go over the body, we can take the wings off, so you can see the armor easier but the wings as you can see are huge they're really big if you bought them what are they called D D vault D vault glass cases they um this is not gonna fit in there with it with these wings spread out so I'm gonna find a different place where I mean you could just fold the wings down but I don't want to do that I want them spread out but the wings are so cool though, like they use real feathers and there's fur on them. There is some spots where I gotta glue some, hot glue some uh, feathers back on you that fell off. Just start moving them around. But, yeah, they're pretty cool. And here's where they attach. This is the magnet. Oh, it's, come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> there you can see the magnet. And uh, there's little peg holes, and there's the magnet on this side with the pegs. And you have to put the pegs in there because at first I didn't know the peg, I didn't even notice the pegs. And then if you don't do that, they just kind of fall off to the side. So you gotta make sure the pegs go in. I do think it's kind of funny that she has little thigh shelves on the back of her thighs. Yeah, <laughs> those look weird. Mm, cup holders. <laughs> One thing about the wings though is I don't know how long it'll last over time if you mess with it a lot is there's why it's just wire that you use to position them and if you bend it enough it's gonna break so I'm probably just gonna kind of keep them spread out like this and not really ever fold them down unless I really have to for some reason I'd say get them in position you want them and leave them because they could break eventually but I really like the way they put the there's a lot of feathers there. I really like the way they put them on. They, they do look somewhat natural the way they have them positioned. Mm -hmm. They have like the longer longer feathers on the bottom, shorter on top. Though technically with real, real wings I think there would be a bunch of tinier feathers at the very top. There are some spots where the, the fur, you can see the wire through the fur a little bit. Uh, that's not a big deal but you can see it. Well, the, that's not really fur. That's like feather boa type feathers. You oh. know what I mean? Like the real tiny ones. And I bet if you really wanted to, you could buy black feather boa and glue stuff over that to fix it. Probably. I guess we'll go over the, the main part of the figure now and take off the wings. Even though the wings are like one of the main parts, but there isn't too much else we can say about them. I guess look at the horns first. Did a pretty nice job on them. In the preview pictures, they looked a little more black. Here they're like brown, light brown. Which I don't really, I mean, I think I would have, I think I would like them better black. Or closer to black. But this is okay. There's a nice I think sculpt. you should paint them. I probably will. But the sculpt of them is nice. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it is, there's holes in her head and it's kind of, Difficult to find how to put them in because I was trying to make them go down in like this. This is what I thought they would do, but it needs to go more like horizontal. As for the head, like I don't really like her expression, or maybe even her like the shape of her face. I don't know. I mean, it's okay. It's, she just looks like she's Sad, blank. Yeah. Bored. <laughs> <laughs> I think she could have some crazier paint job or something going on her expression. We used to like give her red eyes or something. That was the one thing we noticed with the preview pictures is they did like a like photoshopped, photoshopped like little red glares over her eyes. Yeah. And she doesn't look nearly as cool with human eyeballs. Yeah. I'm thinking about well, I'm probably gonna do it. I'm gonna either paint her eyes all white or all red. I think that look pretty cool. Probably all red. I think you should do red, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the symbol is, but that's whatever. That's not really a, 
like a good thing or a detriment. I just don't give a shit about it. Hmm. A symbol. I think she should also be cool. She could also be cool with them, like maybe some black tribal looking spiky things on her face painted on there. Be look kind of cool. Or maybe some more blood. Well, she don't have any blood, but some blood on there. Mm -hmm. Look cool. So there's the thing covering the magnet. That does look kind of odd, though. Yeah. It sticks out so far. Guess we'll move the hair back so you can see what his armor looks like, because it's pretty cool looking. Looks very uncomfortable. I like the way they did these little things. The little ruby looking thing right there. Is her head loose? Yeah, the, the head doesn't fit perfectly. It's a little bit loose. I just noticed it kind of bobbling around when you're moving her. Yeah. Um, a little bit of gold there. Here are the shoulder things. They look pretty cool. I really like the skulls. Yeah, skull. Right there and then on her knees. Skull with wings on it. Well, the wrist things are pretty plain. They're like sort of like leather material. I and, do like them though. And this fits over her finger. So if you have a hand that where the fingers aren't separate, it's not really going to work. But I think all the hand, yeah, all the hands she comes with, the fingers are separate. And then the bra is really crazy. It's kind of like bat wing looking. It kind of looks like swamp things grabbing her boobs. <laughs> you mean creature from the black? <laughs> yeah, red. that's what I meant. Creature from the black. Yeah. But he's black and red instead of green. He's grabbing her boobies. <laughs> Well, these look like they would poke into her if she moved around, but... Yeah, the the belly ones are even worse. Yeah, these are really like, jab into you. I was putting that on her and I was afraid I was going to damage her because they were sticking into her. Mm-hmm. But they look really cool. I have to say, as a woman, though, the most uncomfortable looking thing is definitely <laughs> those underwear. <laughs> because it's literally got a piece of metal... In her coochie. <laughs> no thank you. Yeah, that looks uncomfortable. <laughs> Even a guy, I don't think that would feel very really good. And there's the back. It's got this little piece of plastic with the strings. But I like this armor. I like the way there's little see-through hole things. and It's a really cool looking design. And these are probably stabbing too. Oh yeah. If you want to go like that, yeah, I don't even... <laughs> I wouldn't recommend making her do a split because these would... Could seriously damage the figure. Sever her, poke through a kidney. Yeah. <laughs> and then down at the knees, we got them skulls with wings again. I like those. And this is a separate piece. So that's cool. Allows for articulation. And these are pretty cool looking. Like they're really big red things. And down here, these are. These move. And then her shoes are. Insane. <laughs> yeah. it's like I don't got, know who came up with that idea. I like them, but they're fucking weird. They're like talons. <laughs> That's pretty cool. High heel talons. <laughs> <laughs> and the single spike out of the middle. Mm -hmm. Like, if I don't get you with my talons, I'll poke you with this tennis back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the armor's pretty cool. Even though it was just the armor and not the wings, it's pretty cool. Mm hmm. I'm not sure how this boa goes on, but... It looks stupid. Take it off. Yeah, I just want to show it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. And I like the, the hands she comes with. The little... Like the sort of evil... Long fingernail hands. And they got the black on the outside and the inside. They're red. It's kind of weird. I like that they did that. Mm -hmm. Those look like witch hands. Yeah. The grabby hands. Like... <laughs> <laughs> So here she is holding the sword. Really, I don't really like her with a sword. I'd rather just have the wings and her hands. The sword can just go in her little dragon rock thing. I do, I do think it would look better, too, if it was a better sword. I don't really like that sword that much. It's a little weird. We're not even going to bother putting these on. Because it just looks like they're too small and they're going to be a pain in the ass to get on. But there you can see her if you want to see chains hanging off of her. There you go. <laughs> now I guess we do articulation, which it's going to be somewhat limited. The flesh and bodies can move really well, but this armor is going to limit it somewhat. And especially going to limit it if you have the wings on. But the head, you can see, is really loose. But 
I can still move around. Up his shoulders, I'm not sure what all I can do because of this crazy armor. But you get the arm up all the way, so that's pretty good. Go out. Oh, so I guess you can do more new. I thought you could. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be able to bend it up that far. And then hit the elbow. Pretty good there. And then the wrist is on a ball joint. Only thing that's going to limit it maybe is this thing. And then there's lots of articulation at the torso, but I don't know how much you can do with these. Well, I guess more than I thought. I thought these might interfere. But these are this piece right here is somewhat flexible. I would mostly just be worried about poking into her if you're not careful. Yeah. Uh, it's not too bad. And then at the hips. Do <laughs> kick straight <laughs> up in the air. Kick you in the face! Well, here at the side is where it's a little dangerous because this piece could poke through. So you really can't go out too far. That's about it, or do they start poking in? You could either poke through or break the plastic. Well, you can put her leg forward and bend it out, though. Yeah, like that, I guess. Because then it'll be behind her butt. Yeah. That works. And then at the knee, you can go about there, and then the armor starts hitting. That's pretty damn good, though. And at the ankle, that's about it. Can't really do much else. You can tilt it a little bit. She stands up pretty well, though. Don't have much issue them big, the big giant feet and make her stand up well. So articulation is all right. It's just limited a little by the armor. So here I think is a fairly appropriate comparison. The Fison TB League Lady Death figure next to the Lucifer Wings of Fallen figure. I could definitely see them fighting each other. And here's the Wings of Fallen next to the Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider made by Saijo. Ghost Riders had a lot of battles with demonic characters so this is another matchup that makes sense. And here is the Red Sonia made by Fison or TB League. And I think this is another good matchup. Also, this body that I use, like we said, is from a Red Sonia figure. Although it's the second release made by Fison, the Scars of the She Devil. Mine was just the regular version. But yeah, it's pretty cool seeing them together. Two badass looking redheads. There's another figure coming out in this series now. Same with this one, there's two versions, one that comes with the wings and one that doesn't. But this time the wings are white and it's more of an it's more of an angel like character. And it's called Lucifer Wings of Dawn. And to get the wings it's called the, the Big Angel version. Which is an odd name. But I mean that's cool. There's a white wing version. Okay. So I really like this figure. The, I mean you gotta buy the body separate, but the set is really cool. The armor and the wings are amazing. They're very detailed. And I really like this thing too. Even though when I wanted the figure I wasn't thinking, ooh, I want that. But getting it, it's like, whoa, that is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a cool bonus. Mm-hmm. Um, the biggest gripe I have with her is just the face. I mean, the face is good. It's just I would rather have something different. Something a little less sad looking like you were saying. Looks sad. Yeah, she looks depressed. And it seems like she should look evil. Yeah. Screaming evil face would have been cooler. Mm-hmm. Or something more a little demonic. I don't know. But the wings are really cool. I like all the crazy feathers they attached. And I think the... Whatever, whatever you call that. Miniature feathers. And the horns are cool. I like them better up. I like the red hair. But all this armor is amazing. Uh, the articulation still works pretty good, even though all that armor's on there. I was definitely just, like, concerned about the wings originally, because I thought that was so cool. But overall, I like pretty much all of it. Mm -hmm. Pretty awesome. 
I do think the sword's a little... I don't know, I just don't think it goes with the rest of her that well. No, I'm, it does look a little odd. I mean, mm. in a way it goes with her, with all of her spiky armor, but this it just seems like it has a slightly different style than what her armor is. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's just, I don't know. I think she could look really cool with a sword, I just don't particularly like that sword. Yeah. I'm probably just going to display her without a sword. Probably put on maybe the other clawing hand. Or maybe the pointing finger hand. Something. But I think he's so awesome. I don't know if we mentioned this yet, but I don't know what Wings of the Fallen is. Lucifer Wings of the Fallen. I don't know. I don't know if that's from anything or if it's just for this figure. Well, this is my GFG. And I'm Zabaka. Thanks for watching. Come back. I'm going to send you straight back to hell, demon. Huh. You think a spirit of vengeance can stop me? This way till I get my hands on... Oh! Ah! Ah! What's your problem? Eh! Ow! Oh man! This armor... It hurts so much! All those little spikes... On my boobs! The spikes around my torso! And my, my thigh armor! And my, and my shoulder arm! Oh! Every move I make... It, Ow! Uh, it's just jabbing into me. Uh, no spirit of vengeance is gonna stop me because, because my own armor is gonna stop me. Uh, uh, ow! Uh, I can't move. I, I'm, I'm not sure what to do now. Um, I've I never had this happen before with a, with my enemy. Um. I think I'm just gonna sit down now. Ow! Uh, uh, it hurts. I can't sit down. Uh, ow. I, I can't move. Well, how about, uh, j just don't be evil anymore. Um, uh, and I'll, I'll just let you go with a warning this time, okay? How about, that? that's how I'll handle this situation. Okay, um, uh, sorry about your armor. Wait, I can't move. I can't move. Oh, damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat. Oh!